everybody. Welcome to podcast number three with Shanti Burgle, producer for The Sims 2 for mobile. Thanks, Dana. Uh, we've asked the Sims 2 community to provide us with a few questions for today's podcast. And our first question is from Dana Chubb. How much space will it take up on my phone and how much money does it cost for The Sims 2 mobile? So the pricing for the mobile edition hasn't yet been announced yet, so I can't really speak to that. But uh, I'm happy to say that there, we're going to have a huge number of um, handsets that are supported and specific games that are targeted to those handsets. So if you're a Sims fan, chances are there'll be a version of the mobile game that'll fit on your phone. This next question is from SJT7771, and they asked us about the mobile phone. Uh, how complex will The Sims 2 be on mobile phone uh, with it being so small and not being able to store so much? So one of the interesting uh, things as a, as a game maker working on The Sims is that it's it's really about distilling life down to its essential elements. And on the mobile platform, you have to distill perhaps even a bit farther because you have uh, a more limited um, amount of you know, memory and uh, a less powerful device to work with. I think players will be happy to discover that we've managed to breathe the essence of The Sims into the mobile game. So the classic Sims 2 gameplay that, that folks are familiar with, including things like wants and needs and fun objects and interesting NPCs, those are all present in the mobile game. And there's a special connected edition of the game which even gives players the option to download new NPCs and objects and Sims from even their PC game. So we're quite excited about that ability to create a, a sim, for example, on your PC game, upload it to the exchange, and then download it into your mobile game and take that with you. Awesome. Thanks, Shani. Okay, this next question is from Arinya, and uh, they ask, how is a Sims 2 for mobile phone going to be different from other Sims 2 games? Thanks, Dano. So um, the obvious difference is it's a mobile game. So the big difference is that you'll have to download the game from your carrier as opposed to walking into a retail store and getting it. But gameplay-wise, you'll see there's a number of differences, but we've really made an effort to stay true to the ideas that we as sim players really love. The, uh, the world is set in an isometric view that's similar to, uh, to Sims 1. The gameplay is a little more reminiscent of Sims 2, though. So your mobile Sims uh, will have wants and needs. Uh, you'll be able to develop relationships and even romance if that's what you want to do. Uh, career and money play a role, uh, as do the right combination of objects and skills. All right, Shanti, ready for another one? Syncmast897 asks, Will you be able to swap or trade items or money via Bluetooth, infrared, or Wi-Fi on The Sims 2 Mobile? Yeah, this is a really insightful question because on mobile, um, we have some challenges introducing the, the full build and buy mode that you've seen on, uh, on other platforms. And so we do allow a lot of trading between players to allow uh, swapping of in interesting objects and the introduction of, uh, of new objects that are downloaded for the ser from the server via NPCs in the connected version, for example. So while you can swap objects, it's not really um, using those short-range wireless protocols uh, that SyncMaster is talking about. Um, it's it's done from the player to the NPC. In a future version, we have considered, you know, how to make use of those kind of short-range wireless protocols, but it's, it's really about finding the right design that makes use of those technical building blocks in a fun, Sims-like way. Awesome. Thanks, Shanti. Special 1212 asks, The Sims 2 for cell phones looks a lot like The Sims 1. Will it still be 3D or will it be the old four-way viewing points? So that's a great question. If you look, um, say, on the web at some of the screenshots, you probably get the uh, the sense that the game looks a little bit like uh, The Sims 1. And the isometric view, like I said, is a little bit reminiscent of Sims 1. The assets come directly from Sims 2, though. So if you look closely, you'll notice that everything is 3D. Um, they've been changed. So the, the technology under the hood uh, is that those are now sprites. We've converted all of those Sims 2 pieces to uh, run on a special engine that, that for mobile. Um, so they're not technically full 3D. It's not a full 3D environment. You can't zoom in and zoom out the way you can in Sims 2 for PC, for example. But you do get the sense of a full 3D environment there on your phone. So it's kind of a combination of isometric from Sims 1 and full 3D from Sims 2. Awesome. Thanks, Shanti. Looks like they got a lot of good assets going on there. Shanti, do you have anything to uh, add about the uh, mobile phone version? 
Well, the first off is I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about the connected edition because that's kind of the the uh, the big kahuna of the mobile games. Um, this is our, our game that I mentioned before that's networked, so you can download things in real time from a server. Um, so one of the most exciting things about this game, as I mentioned before, is that you can create a sim um, on your PC and then download it into game. But that's 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 only a piece of it. So this is is set in a new um, Sims world. This is a, a town called Splinnington, which is a little bit far away from the from the rest of the Sims world. And your sim has been sent there to essentially help pretty up the place. Uh, you've got a, a job in town where you uh, take uh, certain things that you've uh, brought from the outside world to sell. And uh, this is where the trading comes in: is that you can trade and sell with the uh, the other Sims who are there. And as the time progresses, you uh, get the opportunity to essentially level up and uh, get a, a new and better version of this world through your efforts. So you, as a, uh, as a player, affect the world that you, uh, that you live in, and this is all supported through this network technology, which is going to be a first for mobile gaming. Um, this is going to be unique uh, in, uh, in the world. Not only is it a, uh, a network Sims game, but it's one of the very few network games that are out on the market today. All right, Shandi, thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Uh, we'll talk to you at the next podcast.